Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with another thing that I consider quite special, and this is an announcement, kind of, um, of Akash Dulani's new book, The World of Sudoku, Volume 6. Um, I've been talking to Akash about this for a couple of months, and if it didn't come out today, it would have only come out in the last couple of days. Um, and this is a book of 300 handcrafted Sudoku by, or Sudokus by uh, Akash Dulani, one of the greatest constructors that's been around for more years than, I, than I've been in the hobby, for sure. Um, and Akash has been involved in so many different things, um, and his books um, were instrumental in getting me into learning how a lot of the different constraints work and improving my Sudoku skills. Um, and I've recommended his books to people many, many times. And Volume 6, which is something he's been working on most of the year, has now been released least. And the puzzle I'm bringing you today is actually from the book, um, with Akash's permission. But before I get on to the puzzle, I want to say a couple of things about the book. Um, 300 Sudokus using mul many, many constraints, some of which, most of which you may have heard of. A lot of them are ones that are used in competitions um, or... Uh, uh, I'm bad at speaking right now. Um, used in competitions or that have been um, used in um, others of Akash's books or you see in um, sort of... I have seen around, but you don't see them quite as much on the the regular um, locations like on Cracking the Cryptic or on my channel. Um, but the, the types of Sudoku there are, it's incredible. There's Odd Even, there's Trio Sudoku, Liar Sudoku, Inequality Sudoku, Pencil Mark Sudoku, Neighbor Sum Sudoku, The Greatest Sudoku, Outside Sudoku, Diagonal Sudoku, Consecutive Pairs Sudoku, Thermo Sudoku, Arrow Sudoku, Fortress Sudoku, Kropke Sudoku, Sequence Sudoku, XV Sudoku, Killer Sudoku, Some Frame Sudoku, Some Sandwich Sudoku, Irregular Sudoku, Scattered Sudoku, Tight Fit Sudoku, Roll Sudoku, Sudoku Curve Sudoku, and Shifted Sudoku are the variants that are in the book. Um, and as I said, 300 handcrafted puzzles. The book is available now, hopefully, um, on Amazon as a physical copy or on Payhip as a PDF. The physical copy is twelve dollars fifty US, and it's or twelve forty nine, and it's nine dollars ninety nine on Payhip for the PDF. If you're interested in a copy of the PDF, um, Akash has worked with me and. Also in the description below, where I'll put the links to Amazon and to Payhip, um, there will be a special discount code that you can use, or a special coupon code that you'll be able to use exclusively to my viewers um, for a limited time or limited uses, so it may expire depending on how popular it is, um, where you'll be able to get a 10% discount on Payhip for the PDF copy of the book. So if you're interested in this book um, and you want to get it um, a little bit cheaper, then a 10% discount code is also listed below. Viewers of my channel will also have an opportunity to get a copy of the book for free. Um, so there are four copies I'll be giving away, um, and the way I'll be doing that is as follows. First of all, anyone who submits a solution code to any of the KG Constraint Sudoku packs, even if you only submit two solution codes to complete two puzzles, um, for every solution code they submit, they will go into the draw, get an entry into the draw to win a copy of the book once all three of the packs have been done. Um, so that's one way to get... Um, get a copy. The third pack in the series, which is the mystery pack, um, if you complete the mystery pack, there will be a special code you can generate at the end, and anyone who sends in that special code at the end will be in a running for another copy of the book. So completing the whole of the third pack will get you um, a uh, into a draw of only people who complete that pack. But if you only manage to complete a few of the earlier puzzles in the pack, you will still be able to submit those solution codes to be in the larger draw. As of right now, when the book is out, I am going to draw a random Patreon supporter of mine, and they will win a copy of the book. Um, and I've actually already done that, and congrats to Full Deck. Um, <laughs> I will be in touch with you about uh, getting a copy of the book coming to you. Um, and the other one is um, at the end of... Um, end of September, I am going to draw another one of my Patreon supporters to... Um, get another copy of the book. So 
yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, as of time of recording, I, I've only seen a few of the puzzles from the book because um, it's not fully released yet as of me recording. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to see the book and I've been chatting to a, um, a cash about it uh, for, as I said, for a while now, um, lining all of this up. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to giving the puzzles a try because I love Akash's work. So, on the topic of the puzzles, let's have a look at Sequence Sudoku 8, which is one of the Sequence Sudokus from the book. Now, one of the things Akash did tell me is that most of the puzzles in the book should be... <sighs> The word approachable seems to have been sidetracked. Not genuinely approachable like gas level, but approachable puzzles. So not brutally difficult. Um, so uh, what he was saying is most of the puzzles in the book should be sort of the sort of average fare that I do on my channel or even a little bit easier. So we will find out doing through this. This I think he said this was slightly harder than average, but um, I may have gotten my wires crossed on that one. So let's have a look at this puzzle. Sequence Sudoku. So, first of all, normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. And I was just terrified I wasn't recording. Um, then we've got the sequence Sudoku rules, which are these lines. And along each line... Um, uh, the digits along each line, uh, marked line, have to be different and must form an arithmetic sequence in the correct order. Now, what that means is the difference between um, two numbers, uh, two sequential numbers along the line is always the same. So, um, for example, I'll use this line as an example. The, if the difference between these two digits is two, the difference between these two digits is two, and they must go in the same direction. So this could be one, two, three. It could be two, four, eight. I mean, it can't be because of these, but um, if this was one and had a difference of two, it would be one, three, five, but it must always form an arithmetic sequence um, follow increasing along the same. Um, the rules that I was sent was only a brief description of the rules, so it just said must form an arithmetic sequence. I've tried to be a little bit more clear. I pulled a copy of the rules from uh, one of the Sudoku rules databases. Having never done an arithmetic sequence puzzle myself, I didn't have it in my uh, list. So uh, I just copy and pasted from that. So yeah, all it means is an arithmetic sequence. So whichever order it goes in, it will increase by the same amount in the direction it goes. They're the rules. Um, hopefully that is, all makes sense. So let's give this a shot. So I'm not sure if I should start this with Sudoku because I'm not even sure I've solved one of these before. Is there a lot of, is there Sudoku for me to go on? Not really. Like four is down here, but eight is down here. Five is over here. So four is in here and five is in here. Does that do anything interesting with the arithmetic sequence? I got that backwards. I got that completely backwards. I've, I've been doing announcements and trying to figure out, make sure you say everything correctly. And my brain has just turned off from Sudoku. That's better. <laughs> wow. I'm off to a good start. Sorry, Akash. Um, hmm. Maybe if I'd done some of the earlier puzzles that I don't know if they're going to be ranked by difficulty, I would have learned something about sequence lines that uh, would help me with this. So what could I know about sequence lines that I don't know? So digits along a sequence line must always have the same difference. So on a three cell sequence line, what differences could I have? Difference of one is easy because that would just make it one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. So that's not hard. If there, it's an even difference, then you end up with something like one, three, five, two, four, six. Oh, that's interesting. So 
whatever the difference is, the difference between the cells at the end is going to be two times that difference. So if the difference is two, or if the difference is one, the difference between those two different digits is going to be two. If the difference is two, the difference between those two digits is going to be four. If the difference is three, the difference between those two digits is going to be six. And if the difference is four, the difference between those two digits is going to be eight. And they have to be in order. Which means that... First of all, I can't have a, a difference of more than four, but it means that these are going to be the same parity. So maybe this is a parity puzzle. So I am going to mark those as even and those as odd. And I'm going to start thinking parity. Because if these were even, This would be from 2 and 6. This would be from 2 and 6. And it'd have to go 2, 4, 6 or 2, 4, 6. And I can't do that because there's a 4 in the box. So these can't be even. The only way... I can't use 8. So it would have to be 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6 if they're even. Is there any other way of having even numbers at the end? Yes, possibly. 2 and 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if the difference is 3, I could go even, odd, even. So it's either got to have a 4 or a 5 in the middle. If the differences are even, no. It could, uh, no, that's not true. That's if they're far apart. But these ones have to be 2 and 6, which would mean this would have to be 4 and it can't be. So these have to be odd. But I don't know what that is. But these are definitely odd. This also is 2 and 6, because 4 and 8 sees that and that. In fact, 4 is in one of those two. But 4 and 8 sees those, so 2 and 6, and I still don't have 2 and 6. I still don't have 4 available, so those are odd. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Can I do the same here? This would be from 2 and 8. And this would be from 2 and 8. And halfway between 2 and 8, I just thought of this one. 2 and 8, halfway between, is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 5, so this would be 5. And it can't be. So these are also odd. I don't have as many e odd even numbers seen by this. This just can't be 4 and this just can't be 8. Once again, polarizing Sudoku comes to my rescue. So, is it understanding what these can be? Like, this can't be 3 or 9, so it's 1, 5 or 7. So this is one, five, seven, or nine. And this is one, three, five, seven. And this can't be one or nine, so it's three, five, or seven. Is there something I can do to whittle that down? Like one to five would be one three five because one to one doesn't work. One three five doesn't work. One to seven would just have to be four, wouldn't it? One two three four five six seven. Yeah, I'm increasing the middle digit by one. So one to five is three. So this is three four or five if this is a one, and I can't use three four or five. So this is not a one. 5 to 1 doesn't work. I just disproved that because that would have to be a 3. 5 to 7, this would have to be a 6. 
and five to nine, five would have to be a seven, which it can't be. So if this is a five, this goes five, six, seven, or five, six, seven. And if this is a seven, oh, hang on. I, yeah, I couldn't go down. If this is a seven, seven down to one doesn't work. We've, so this can't be a one either, can it? Because one to five would need this to be a three, and I can't do it. And one to five, so, so this can't be, oh, this can't be a one. So seven to five makes this a six. Seven to seven would mean this is a seven, and I've got three sevens, and that doesn't work. The difference being zero. Actually, ooh, that would be interesting. If you had a line that did that, could the difference be zero? Probably not. Um, um, what was I looking at? And then seven to nine would make this an eight, which it can't be. So is this, hang on, nine to five would need, five would need this to be a seven and nine to seven needs this to be an eight. This can't be a nine. This is always a six and this is a five, seven pair. Okay, this is not a five. Five is in one of those two. That is cool. And that's going to put more pressure over here because now I can't put six here. So this can't be five, six, seven. So one, two, three is possible. I should start here, shouldn't I? Three, two, one is possible. Three, four, five is not possible. Three to seven, I'm always going to fail at this math, aren't I? It'd be five. Three, five, seven, and I can't do that. So three, two, one, if this starts with three, is also all the only thing that's possible. Five to one would make this a three. Five to three would make this a four and I can't do it. And five to seven would make this a six and I can't do it. So, so far we've gone three, two, one or five, three, one. Seven. So this can't be a seven because I can't go three, five, seven. So this can't be a seven. Five. Let's try this direction now, because so far, oh no, let's do the seven. Seven to one. Man, I'm bad at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, would make this a four. So it can't be seven to one. Seven to three would make this a five and it doesn't work. And seven to five would make this a six. This is not seven. This is always a one. And this is two, three, three, five. One is down here. This is absolutely nuts. I've never thought about anything like this. These are also restricted because this can only be three. Two is not odd. Three, seven or nine. And this is three, five or nine. I'm fairly sure I've never solved anything like this, or if I have, I don't remember. I've got nearly 500 videos on my, or 400 videos on my channel now. I've forgotten a lot of stuff. So let's try that again. Three to five would make this a four. That doesn't work. Three to three doesn't work. And three to nine, three, six, nine. I can't put four or six here. This is not a three. So seven to three, we know doesn't work. Actually, let's just do it in this direction. Because we know three to nine doesn't work because it'd have to be a six. Three to seven, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be a five. It doesn't work. This is not a three. Okay. So seven to five would make this a six. That doesn't work. Seven to nine would make this an eight. Doesn't work. This is not a seven. This is a nine, which means this is a five. Five, six, seven. That is forced which puts seven down in one of those two by Sudoku. Don't forget your Sudoku. Eight is placed in the middle of the grid by Sudoku now, which I had as soon as I had that nine five, I just did not see it.
okay. So these are one, two, three, four, and I can't put four down here. So these are actually one, two, three. Five is in one of those two. No, it's not. Five is there. In box three, I can't put five up there because of that five. I can't put five on this line. Five is here, which takes that five out and makes that five. So this has to be one, three, five. Which makes that the seven, which makes that the five. So five, five, five is in that corner. This is a quad now. I'm going to put it in. It's a quad. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, that could have gone better. Yeah, that could have gone better. This is a quad and possibly much more useful. Two, six, seven, eight. Well, there's no eight there. There's no seven there. Mm. Two, six, seven, eight on those lines. So these are also one, two, three, four, because that's a quad in the row. That can't be a four. Actually, that can't be a four either because of the fours in the box, but also because those fours are what gave me those. So one, two, three. There's no one here. This is a quad, which is two, three, six, seven. So we've got two, three, and six over here. There's no three or six here. This is a two. So two is down here with eight. I am sure there are a lot of people who are like cringing at my pencil marking. Five is now down here, which I could have got from those fives. Hmm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's no seven there. That's a two, four pair. So I can take two out of there and four out of there. I've got a six, seven pair. Two, four pair means this is a triple. One, eight, nine. There is no eight there. So eight must be in one of those two. There's no nine there. Eight is in one of those two. I can't ignore the sequence lines. I mean, I've done half of them. I just need to figure out what I can do for the other half. So these have to be the same parity again, as do these. So these are the same parity. That, that's the important trick I've learned. So surely, Oh, that's beautiful. Again, this has to be odd. And it's because if they're not odd, if these are even, what are they? Well, I can't use two or eight because two and eight have to be in here. So they would be four and six. But between four and six is five. And I, pardon me, can't use five. So those are also odd. I haven't even looked at odd even colouring. I'm just using it to... I mean, maybe I have a bit. Like, that is even. That is odd. Maybe I should be doing this more. These are even. Actually, I possibly should be doing this more. I don't know. But either way, I know these are odd. And I think that's incredibly valuable. Because this is 3, 7, or 9. It's not 7. This is only 3 or 9. So this has to be limited, right? Because this has to be odd. So three, two, one is possible because this could be almost anything, unlike the ones up here. Three, six, nine is possible. Three, seven is not. Three, eight is not. Okay. So this is three, two, one or three, six, nine. Nine, eight, seven is possible. 
nine, seven, five is not. So this can never be seven in the middle. Okay. So can I do the same trick over here? This can be two six. So if they're even, this is two six eight. This is two six eight. Now two and six will put four in the middle. Yeah, I don't have the same restriction. So I'm missing a trick. This is three, six or seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, three, six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine is in one of those two. Which I could have got from those, but. Hmm. So I can't do the same trick here. So can I narrow anything down on those lines? No, but this is a triple now. This is one, four, nine. I can't put one or nine in the middle of a sequence line because I'd need to have something lower than it at the other end for it to be a sequence in order. So zero, one, two, or 10, nine, eight. So that's not gonna work. This is a four. Holy cow, that's clever. So that is even, these are both odd. Now the four places four in box nine which means that's a two and that's a four. That two means two is in one of those two. So what can this be now? It could be, still be two, four, six, I think. So if it's not two, four, six, what is it? It'd have to be three, four, five, because I I need a digit lower than four on it. So it's either two, four, six in either order or three, four, five. And I can't put five on either order, either end. So this is two, six. That is a two, six pair, which are even. Holy cow. So... I need to put an eight in here somewhere. So what are these? These are one, two, three, five, and eight. That's not a five. Four is now up here somewhere because of the fours pointing in here. Um, what am I missing? These are three, six, seven, and nine. That's not seven. <sighs> Bet it's Sudoku. Betcha tis. Three, five, eight.
This is even. Two, six, and eight are all even. I'm not sure that's helped me, but... Two, six, and eight are even. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where can eight go in this row? Can't put eight in any of those. If I put eight here, what am I putting on further down the line? Can't put eight here because there's an eight seeing it. One eight fifteen, no. One eight fifteen, no. Even three eight means that this would have to be five higher than eight, which is not possible. So I can't put eight in any of those. This is an eight. This is not an eight. This is not an eight. So nine, eight, seven, three can never get to seven. So this is not a seven anymore. This is a one, nine pair. So we've got one, two, three, or three, two, one, or nine, six, three. This is a three. This is just a three now. Because this is either nine, six, hang on, three, six, nine, or three, two, one. Nine, six doesn't go with any of these. This is a three. I needed the eight here for that to be a possible to be, and I can't put the eight, the eight had to go here for the row. Wow. So that's just a three. This is still possibly to be six, nine, or two, one. But that's not a three. That's not a three. So three is in here. So in here, I've got to put a one. I can't put a one or a nine. Same as here. I can't put a one or a nine in the middle of a sequence line. So where do I put the other one nine? The, I can't put it in any of those cells. That's not a one or a nine. And I can't put it in any of those cells. This has to be the one nine. So it's not four. So these are from two, four, six. Those are even. And this is odd. That's a one nine pair. So these are one, two, three, and four. That's not a four. That's not a four. There's a four at the top. Wow. But now I've got information about these. So for this to be two, this would it couldn't go two, six, ten. So it'd have to be two, four, six, or two, four, six. Actually, one of them has to be 246, doesn't it? No. No, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. I don't need to have evens at the end if one of them is even. I could go 147, for example, here. 147 is fine. One four seven would be perfectly fine, and in fact, possibly even likely. But there is a four in one of these. I'm, I know I just took that pencil mark out, but I'm putting it back in because help. Um, so, what are the possibilities here? One two three is not possible because I've got a two three here. One, four, seven is possible. One, six is not possible because I can't go up another five. And this is the same here. So this can't be a one because I can't do one, two, three. That would break that. Two, four, six isn't. Sorry, I'm looking at one. One, four, seven is not possible here because of that seven and one, six doesn't work. This can't be a one. So this is a two or a three. But this could be one, four, seven.
Okay. Two, four, six is possible. Two, six, ten is not. So two, four, six is possible. So we've gone one, four, seven, two, four, six, three, two, one is possible. Three, four, five is not possible. Three, six, nine is possible. Ah, uh, here, two, four, six is possible. Two, six is not. Two, two is not. Three, two, one is possible. Three, four, five is not. And three, six, nine is. But that does mean eight is down here. I can never put eight on any of these. None of those had an option to be an eight. Eight is down here. So this is three. There's no three here. This is five, eight. Three is now right here by Sudoku. So this is a two. So two is in one of those two. Where does two go in this row? Two can't go in any of those. It can't go there because it's looking down from up here and it can't go there. This is a two. So three, two, one, which makes this nine and this one, which makes this nine, takes nine out of both of those. This is not one anymore. This is not two. Six, seven pair, that's fine. This is six, seven or nine. I thought that would do more, but I did take nine out of here. So three, two, one is still possible. I can't do three, six, nine, two, six. This can't be a six anymore because three, six, nine isn't possible. Two, six, anything doesn't work. That's not a six. One, six doesn't work. Two, six doesn't work. And three, six, this is not a six anymore. No, take the five out too. This is a two, four pair, which means this is a six, four, two. One, four, seven still works. These are six, seven, and eight, and that's not a seven. Nine is right there. So this is one, which I've had for a while. There's no one in those. This is eight, this is nine. This eight makes this five and this eight. These are one, two, and seven. There's no one here. There's no two there. That's a seven. This is a one, two pair. Coloring probably isn't helping me that much at the moment, but we'll see how we go. This is six, seven, and eight. There's no seven there. That is a six, eight pair. This is a one. I can't go one something two. So this is two and three. This is not three. This is not one. This is a four. So one, four, seven, or two, four, six. That all still works. Six, eight, these, this is now a four. This is not the four. Uh, this is not a three. One, two, six, seven, eight. So one, this is a three? Yes, this is a three. 
This is a seven. This is a six by Sudoku, which means this is a nine. There's no nine here. This is not a nine. This is the nine. There's no three here. Okay, let's keep everyone happy because maybe it'll mean I spot something. Yep, it did. Seven and six, which means this is eight, which means there's no eight here. This is a six, seven pair, which looks up making that eight and that six. The six looks up making that seven. So this is a three, six pair in the row. This is two, three or six. It's not three, so it's two or six. One, four, seven, two, four, six. What am I missing? I'm missing that seven. That's a six. That's a two. That's a seven. That's a one. That's a three. That's a two. That's a six. That's a three. That's a six. This is one and five. Ah, but the two in box seven looks like making that the one, that the two. This becomes the five. This becomes the one. And that apart from me having a long ramble and actually collecting all the details after setting up the puzzle. So the timer had been running while I was doing all of the setup. Um, that was really cool. How long did it take? Probably about half an hour. Yeah, not too bad. Um, I, considering I didn't know what I was doing. Um, yeah, that was really cool. I really like that puzzle. And to think that for 10 bucks, you're getting 300 puzzles like that. And as I said, you can get a 10% discount on the code below. We're using the code below. Code is limited. It's not, I, I'm not sure if it's limited by time or number of uses. So if you do want that 10% discount, get in quick. Thank you, Akash Dulani, for reaching out to me and, um, and suggesting that I could do this video as a, as a launch. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for providing the puzzle early so that I could do this video. Um, and I believe that um, I've got permission to do another puzzle from the pack, which I'll probably do in a couple of weeks, um, or from the book pack. I'm so used to saying pack from the book um, in a couple of weeks. So, um, but yeah, two out of 300, seriously, get yourself a copy of the book. I'm really looking forward to mine. Um, Thank you everyone for watching. I really do hope you go and grab a copy of the book. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, well, <laughs> so many puzzles. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.